The migrants call this a special kind of hell. A hell where no one can hear you crying. Those here have disappeared to the outside world. There's room after room packed full and many have been here for months. They complain of being beaten and fed little with no medical help. Swelling every day, every day. Nobody to help for my, my leg is my problem. My leg, I cannot walk with it. They always carry. <laughs> they always carry me. I cannot stand with it. <laughs> there are several unexplained injuries, but officials stand over us during our entire visit. The guards speak little English, so a few migrants grab at the chance to tell us what's happening. Are you going to get into problems with these people who are listening? Yeah, yeah. You will get into problems yeah. with the people who are listening? Yeah. Well, what do you think will happen to you when, when we go? Maybe he can beat me. Yeah, these people he'll be only beating. He just beat like, I don't know how to say it. What did they use to beat you? Yeah. What did they use? Do they beat with their hands the pipe, or with the pipe. pipe? Yeah. The hard pipe, hard one. You're supposed to do that always with people. They pray for release from this unrelenting misery. Libya was only meant to be a staging post en route to a new life in Europe. Now they're stuck with no one wanting them in Tripoli, where the authorities are struggling to pay the centre's guards. If they don't want us in this country, let them put us back to our country. Yeah. What do? You, what is the reason for the beating? No reason. No reason. I'm you just beat you any any time. Yes, yeah, unnecessary. What do they use to beat you? Pipe. Have you been beaten? Hmm? Have you been beaten? Yes. Not no, not so. <laughs> Please, you push your hands. We are suffering here, please. I'm begging them of In another detention centre in the capital, there are more claims of brutality. We've been asked not to film the guards, but many of them are watching from behind the camera. No. Well, he's showing me wheels on his front and on his back, which he says, where he says he's been uh, whipped. Um, he's saying by the guards. Even Hiji, if I had a had a mental little bit. Even he said, even one of them uh, is looking at yeah, his mouth. Yeah, he looked at him and he tried to kill him. He said, I will kill you tomorrow. Yeah, he told him. He okay, just they, they're him. saying that uh, they're being threatened, even as he's talking to us now. They're receiving threats from the guards, uh, none of whom speak English, so uh, they can't hear what I'm saying. The claims of brutality are robustly denied by those in charge of the West's illegal immigration. All our places are monitored and none of the governors will accept any bad treatment against any detainee. Torture and beatings are just not acceptable. And all these claims that you have made will be looked into seriously and investigated to stop any of this happening. There are children among those locked up. Two-year-old Natu's mother died crossing the Sahara to get to Libya. His father is desperate, so desperate he wants to give his only son to me. The fellow detainee who's helping us translate is equally incredulous, but explains the father just wants someone, anyone, to help his child and take him away from this prison. No, I understand, but I can't, I can't take his children. I can't take his child. You have to, can you explain to him? I, I, I don't know what I can do, but I, it's, it's just not possible for me to take his baby. Another heartbreaking dilemma in a Libya now fraught with them. Alex Crawford, Sky News, Tripoli.